Coming up next on this video, I'm going to tell you my five favorite bottles in my collection. Now I'm talking about the actual presentation of the bottle because to me, that's part of the art form and what I love about perfumery, especially niche perfumery. But uh, there may be one or two that sneak in here that uh, may be a little bit of a surprise. So stay tuned to find out what they are coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. And just to let you know, I'm a little bit under the weather right now. Um, the reason is I have COVID. I tested positive uh, yesterday from the day I'm filming this video. Uh, I think I have fortunately probably one of the more milder, um, you know, cases of COVID. Um, and, uh, you know, I've done everything I need to do to get my body ready, I believe. And Thankfully, although one night felt like I had a bad cold, now I'm just kind of dealing with like some congestion and some little bit of coughing, but I think uh, very fortunate and blessed and uh, really prayers and thoughts for everyone out there who's dealing with it in a much harder way. Um, but anyways, so if I seem a little bit, my voice a little bit different, you know, and I may have to clear my throat, which you may hear in the microphone, and I'm sorry about that. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. <clears throat> Okay, um, all right, here we go. My five favorite bottles. And the first one coming in is gonna be honorable mention and it's gonna be a little bit of a surprise because it's a designer fragrance. And it is one that is kind of just, it's just, the reason why I picked it, it's so 70s. It so reminds me of that golden era of kind of American fashion and everything. And this is Halston Z14. Uh, just look at that bottle. It's it's kind of like a disc a little bit. It's got the the imprint of the kind of inside of both sides. It's got the tilted. You can see kind of how where it goes up to the sprayer and to the atomizer. It kind of is angled. If you ever saw the movie, uh, which was out like maybe six months ago, that was a very big deal at the time because bottles were very standard, they weren't very creative, they weren't very artistic, and by making the bottle kind of curve like that required a tremendous amount of production costs for the manufacturer, and it was a big fight between Halston, the, you know, the owner or the, you know, the fashion designer who was obviously overseeing this, and the manufacturing company and the parent company and everything, it was a big thing. It ended up being, these, these perfumes were a huge success, and Halston ended up being right, and a lot of it was because of the bottle. So I had to put that in there as an honorable mention. Coming in number five, actually kind of a similar design almost, but this one is much older. This is a vintage perfume from, of course, Guerlain, and this is Shalimar. And for those of you, you may have seen a video I did a few months ago where I actually opened this. I've had it for about two years now. This is a vintage bottle. It had been completely unopened. Um, it dates back to around, I, from what I can tell best, the early 1950s or so. So this is a bottle that's around 70 years old, somewhere in that range, 60 to 70 years old. And, uh, but this bottle is just, you know, look at that. It's just so beautiful and elegant and simple and French. <laughs> and you have this glass topper right there. And it still smells amazing after all these years, even though this is an Eau de Cologne, so it's gonna be lighter and more fresh, usually those, a lot of those top notes will have evaporated by now. And yes, they are, a lot of them not as strong, but you can still smell the top citrus notes and it's just a beautiful fragrance. And by the way, let me just mention with the COVID again, thankfully, I have not lost my sense of smell or taste like many people did. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that that is not a symptom that develops because of course that would be horrible for me as someone who is a fragrance lover, addict, reviewer, content creator, this is what I do. It would be very difficult for me. I mean, just to not be able to do that. But thankfully I can still smell, I'm a little congested right now from the cold, so that, that affects things. But all right, let's go then to number four. Number four is in my collection, my favorite bottles, Soul of Oud. Can you? There we go. Soul of Oud. Um, this is, of course, just from uh, Ramon Monegal, which is the Spanish niche house. The reason why I love this, you see the opening to my, my videos is me with this bottle, of course. It's just, 
I don't know, reminds me of James Bond, right? It's like, just the, the you know, whoosh, it's very, just kind of, yeah, I don't know a better word. It's just very kind of James Bond. It's like, you know, flip it open um, and the bottles are cool. They're, they're compact, but they're, yet they're visually interesting with the white top and the black bottom and the gold rim in the middle. Uh, it's got ridges all around. You can see the bottle, the glass has ridges. So there's nothing simple about this. Everything was designed in a really elegant, fashionable way. So I love that and that's why that's my number four choice. Number three is one of my newer bottles and this is Oud for Happiness. So this is the one of the newer bottles making the list. I actually have a newer fragrance coming up next which will be even newer than this one. But uh, this one, the reason why I picked this is I just love the intricacies of the design. You know, obviously uh, Initio does a lot. Initio, the French uh, niche house, does a lot with their bottles. And, uh, you know, you have Oud for Greatness has a similar design. And there, many of them have this kind of like, uh, you know, this metal. It's almost like, I guess it's not metal, but, you know, this is engraving, this like leaf, like gold leaf engraving material. And just look at, just look at the intricacies. I'll hold it there so you guys can look at it for those of you who have never seen it. Um, but this one's different because it has the green in there also for the Oud for Happiness, which signifies kind of the mellowness of this fragrance, the greenness of the fragrance, the cannabis, which is in the fragrance, okay? So that's all just very cool. Um, you have the eye in the middle. Uh, you have, it says Black Gold Project. Uh, just a lot going on here. Look at the sides. You can see the sides there. So much going on, even, even the, the, the top here, you know, where the cap goes on, you can see the designs there. So just really into getting the bottles are so solid. They just feel good in your hands. The top feels good. Uh, everything is just, again, thoughtfully designed. And I appreciate art and fashion uh, very much. I love fashion. I love art. It's a big part of, of who I am also. So when, when bottles are done well and combined that, I just really enjoy it. This leads me to my number two choice, and this is one of my, the newest fragrances. This just came out, and of course, this is, hold it up here, Extrait Noir from Elisire. And this is simple elegance. The last two bottles essentially have been black, um, but this one very much like Desired, which, you know, uh, let me just go get that because for those of you who have never seen Desired, and I've talked about it quite a bit as being one of my favorite fragrances, you have Desired, which is also one of my favorite bottles. That gold kind of reflective bottle is so beautiful, but I love this one. This one is just, it is, it's like black gold. It's like black sexiness in a bottle. Ooh, it is intense, it's beautiful. I, I'm, I'm gonna go through this bottle so quickly. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to be buying another one I assume pretty quickly, but just look at that. You know, again, I'll hold it up. The bottles, they're the 30 ml bottles, but they're just beautiful. They're nothing extravagant. They're not as extravagant as the other bottles that I have uh, listed here today, but nothing can be taken away when it comes to beauty and art and fashion for just understated, simple, classic elegance. That's what this bottle is. And that leads me to my number one choice. I'll take the glasses off because I don't need those on. Uh, that is New York Intense from Fragrance Dubois. Really could be any of their, their bottles. All their bottles are essentially very similar to this. Uh, the boxes that they come in, if you haven't seen the boxes, are just pieces of art themselves with just how it lays in. The, you open it up like in a, you know, kind of like a, you know, I don't know what that's called, but it opens up like this, the box, and it's sitting in the box. And I don't have it out right now, so I would show you, but um, anyways, this is about the bottles, not the, the boxes. And just look, you know, the, the, the glass is thick, it's heavy. The corners are kind of rounded. They're like pointed, but rounded. I don't know if you, I'm gonna try it so you can see there. Well. I think it's kind of hard to focus on it, but there we go. There we go, you can see it now. So they're rounded and firm, but they're not pointed. I just, again, every detail, look at the, the from the cap, uh, you know, from 
You have the top of the cap there. Focusing is giving me some problems today. Well, uh, and then you have uh, down here the black kind of like little, they're not like crystals, but you know, little black uh, there we go, little black, like, you know, emerald type things you have again up here, which is very nice. You have, of course, the smell, which is unbelievable. So just, you know, and the sprayers to me, I did a, a video recently with there. The sprayer, the atomizer is one of the two best for me out on the market. Them and Gatal, the French brand, I have, I think the sprayers are just like, it's like you could go like this. You could like spray the room with just like one spray of the button. It's crazy how good they are. So when you combine that, the sprayer, the bottle, all that, to me, Fragrance Dubois has the coolest and my favorite bottles when it combines everything. So there you have it. Let me know uh, what your guys' favorite bottles are because obviously you guys out there have huge collections and, and even small collections that you have some really awesome bottles that you love and I wanna hear uh, which ones really uh, inspire you and really like, you know, make you feel happy when you see them or when you hold them or when you spray them. All right, thanks guys for watching. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to continue to get better here and uh, I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfumes.